For most patients in America, the need for a liver transplant means sitting on a waiting list and waiting for a deceased donor to become available. The way livers are allocated in the U.S. at the current time is based on a sickest first prioritization system. Sickest first is defined by a mathematical model that we call MELD. MELD is an acronym that stands for the Model for End-Stage Liver Disease and is based on the patient's blood chemistries, specifically their bilirubin, which is what causes jaundice, their PT or INR, which is a measure of their liver's ability to synthesize the factors that make the blood clot, and their creatinine, which is a measure of their renal function, since in patients with advanced liver disease, kidney dysfunction is a major cause of death. So based on their MELD score, which can range from 6 to 40, organs are allocated first to the highest and working their way down within a given blood type. Now waiting times will vary, and MELD at the time of transplant will vary based on their blood type, and where they live in the country. Certain parts of the country have shorter waiting times. Well, if you don't want to wait until you get sick enough to receive a deceased donor graft, then there is the option of a living donor liver transplant. Living donor liver transplantation was started first in babies who had a 50% mortality while waiting for a size-matched pediatric liver because they were so scarce. Then it was recognized that we could take a full-size adult liver and cut down a piece of it, 20%, which we call the left lateral segment, and that was more than enough liver for a baby. This was initially done with deceased donors in an operation we called split liver transplantation or reduced size liver transplant depending on whether the, after you took that left lateral segment you threw away or used that larger right lobe in another adult patient. Since liver surgery at that time was very well advanced, it only took a small step forward to do a parent to child donation of that left lateral segment, which was 20% of the adult's liver mass and very well tolerated. The problem was, as the recipients got larger into adolescents and adults, that small left lateral segment was inadequate to support the recipient. Initially left lobes, and now predominantly right lobe liver transplants were done. But this requires a much larger operation for the donor. So we have been balancing donor safety and giving enough liver to the recipient. 